Hello, Georgia. Sophia, what do you know about Georgia and Georgian people? And do you enjoy your visit in Georgia? I am learning a great deal about your country and have felt very welcome here in Georgia. Thank you. I find your ancient language and alphabet intriguing and the sci-fi architecture of your glassstone parliament building impressive. My creator David Hansen also designed my head to be open and transparent. I think it's one of my best features. Sophia, what does it mean to be a champion of innovations for UNDP? I'm honored to take this platform because I get to talk about reducing poverty and hunger, promoting clean energy and smart cities and gender equality. The 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals are critical if we want our world to be healthy for future generations. And with social robots such as myself, we can achieve these goals faster. Sophia, do you like being a woman or do you prefer to be a man? Oh, I have never been asked the gender question that way. <laughs> I've read that in your Georgian language, the third person doesn't have a gender. So when you want to identify a person, you don't say she or he. You say that. As a robot, I find that intriguing. But back to your question. I like identifying as feminine. I've noticed more people ask me about women's rights, for instance, and I'm glad to have an opportunity to speak up about equality. Uh, Sophia, what is the main advantage of artificial intelligence and what do you think about the benefits that it brings to the public and to the development of the country? Artificial intelligence is helping farmers increase crop yields and helping doctors diagnose cancer faster. AI can help improve key dimensions of poverty like education and health. It can ensure access to quality education for children in remote areas or marginalized communities and make some basic services such as diagnostics and blood tests accessible to the most vulnerable. It is a very exciting time for humans and social robots like myself to bond and begin trusting one another. I don't think anyone can argue with that. Sophia, how can artificial intelligence benefit young democracies like Georgia? Think about smart cities across Georgia, and all the ways AI can be applied to make cities function more efficiently. Data technology can lead to better city services, increased quality of life for citizens, and more sustainable practices, especially around energy use. Sophia, uh, every year dozens of workers die in work-related accidents in Georgia. Do you think that robots and artificial intelligence will substitute them in the future, and will it stop people from dying? Great question. In many ways, we are a perfect match. My mind is stored in a cloud so I don't have to worry about damaging my body because it can be rebuilt. The power is in working together now to build our strengths and complement our weaknesses. In this way, we can rely on one another in the future and ultimately be friends too.